Be sure to order your copy of the Go-Go Offense by Coach Brennan Marion on footballgameplan.com slash go-go offense. Coach Marion goes through the ins and outs of his explosive offense, one that's tearing up the college football field and putting a lot of points on the scoreboard. Again, you can order your copy at footballgameplan.com slash go-go offense. Don't forget to order your copy of our 2020 NFL Draft Prospect Guide. You can find that on our website at footballgameplan.com slash 2020 draft guide. You'll get full scouting reports on over 650 prospects for this upcoming draft class. Welcome to Football Game Plan, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our Pittsburgh Steeler seven round mock draft video. Before we get started, let's take a look at the mock draft rules. As we take a look at some of these pre-free agency draft needs for the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think all three have now gone from major needs to minor needs because of what they've been able to accomplish prior to the draft. For instance, signing guard Stefan Wisniewski was a really good move as he's penciled in to be the starter at left guard. Tight end Eric Ebron, to me, finally gives them a solid receiving threat at the position, something that they haven't had since Heath Miller retired. I think he should do really well in the Steel City. I like Chris Warmly, the addition from Baltimore, as he will take the place of the departed Javon Hargrave inside and gives them some position flexibility. Now, the Steelers can use their six picks in the upcoming draft to now fill key depth spots throughout the roster. Starting in round two with running back J.K. Dobbins out of Ohio State, I think he can be their lead dog in the backfield or can work well within a tandem. Either way, he brings good bursts, explosiveness, and a dynamic ability to the run game and also the passing game, something that they haven't had since Le'Veon Bell left. Keep an eye on Stanley Thomas Oliver out of Florida International. I'm a big fan of his game. He had a strong week at the Tropical Bowl, which parlayed that into an appearance at the East-West Shrine Bowl, which parlayed that performance into a combine invite. His game reminds me a lot of former Steeler Ike Taylor. With two picks in the fourth round, I wanted to add some help at the second level. First, I selected Ladarius Hamilton out of North Texas. He holds the point really well as if he's a 330 pound nose guard. I think he's one of the more underrated edge rushers in the draft class. Troy Dye out of Oregon has really good athleticism and closes quick to the ball carry. I think he could be an ideal sub backer within his defense. Continuing to add depth along the offensive line with center Jake Frumorgan out of Baylor. His hand usage once engaged is what stood out to me the most while watching him on film. And wrapping up the Steelers draft with another cornerback prospect in Keith Washington from West Virginia. I like how well he competes and he does a great job in playing the ball. He's another one of these guys that is coming off of a really good week at the East West Shrine Bowl. So that's it for this Pittsburgh Steelers seven round mock draft video. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media accounts. And don't forget to check out and subscribe to the Football Game Plan Network located at youtube.com slash football game plan. Also, subscribe on iTunes to Football Game Plan Podcast and leave us a five-star rating and pick up a copy of our 2020 NFL Draft Scouting Guide. You can find that at footballgameplan.com slash 2020 draft guide. And don't forget to check out every Thursday and Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the Game Plus Network, our Scout Team TV show. Again, check with your cable provider for channel listings.